Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with it and a brand new story and this story I'll show you guys how I color graded this very image and how I fixed the lighting issues that were affecting this very image. You can see my lighting was concentrated right above here and right down here as getting no lighting uh, right down here. So I want to show you guys how you can fix that and how you can get rid of these harsh highlights on the model's face and generally how I color graded this very image so that it looked really nice. I know I posted it on Instagram. So right now we are in Lightroom and this is the before and after. So we're going to eliminate the softbox right here. So let's kick in and start doing that right away. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to reset everything. So I want to edit as you guys are seeing how it is affecting this. That's why I've set my my before and after just right here. So first of all, before I do any adjustments, I first of all come to uh, the profile and I change it to landscape to get back those nice and vivid colors. Then after that, I come I, I, and I drop down my highlights a little bit and also my whites. Then I also add or pull down my blacks. I know the image really looks awkward right now. So I'm going to come to the shadows and I'm just going to pull up my shadows. And also do the same for my exposure just like that. Get back at the right exposure. Then after doing so, I come to my clarity and just add a little bit to around 3. But since this image is looking really oversaturated, I'm going to come to the vibrance and I'm, I'm going to knock it negative 4. And also knock down my saturation just a little bit so that it can match with the image initially before. But you can notice that this image really has just too much magenta. So I'm going to come right above here. I'm going to compensate for those magentas by moving this slider towards at the green side, just like that. So I'm going to go with around negative 11 for this image. So after that, I'm going to come all the way down to the HSL panel. So under this, this is where the magic is going to uh, basically uh, happen or take place for this very portrait. So under my hues, I'm going to come to, first of all, the greens and I'm going to move them towards the blue side. I'm just going to move this to around negative 80. 81 can do. And I'm also going to move my yellows to around uh, 45. Just like that. So these greens can uh, come towards the blue side. And when I'm done doing so, I'm going to come to my oranges and just knock them towards the yellow side. So I think at around 5 we're okay. And now when I'm done doing so, I'm going to come to the saturation. And I'm also going to do the same to my orange, rather my reds first. And I'm going to reduce on the amount of reds in this image to around negative 5. And also come to the oranges and knock them down to around negative 17 can do. And also come to the yellows and knock them down just like that to reduce on that too much saturation in this very image. So I'm just going to go with negative, I think that is not enough, negative 67. And also come to the greens and also desaturate them to around, I'm going to take them all the way down to around negative 85. And you can see like I already have those nice and rich colors. Then I'm also going to come to my luminance option and I'm going to play around with only the oranges in this image. So I'm going to knock them down up a little bit to around 8. I think uh, this looks fine and the image is ready to be taken into Photoshop for uh, fixing these lighting issues and getting rid of this harsh highlight uh, on the forehead of the model. I hope you can see this harsh highlight. So my softbox was really close because I shot it at midday. I shot the image at midday and that's why I wanted it as close as possible because I knew I would fix this in post-production. So I'm basically going to come right here to photo and come to edit in and edit in Photoshop 2020 to export the image into Photoshop to be or to edit it even more and fix those are lighting issues that are affecting this very 
portrait so within a few seconds we're going to be right into photoshop so here we are in photoshop so first of all i crop the image in a ratio of 45 and i'm just going to move this up a little bit i think this looks okay and i'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard to uh, crop this very image so after i have done so i'm going to first of all get rid of this uh, soft box i'm basically going to get my uh, healing brush or spot healing brush tool so i'm just going to duplicate the background by hitting ctrl command j and i'm going to increase on the size of the spot healing brush tool i'm just going to start moving this into bits just like that so that it can eliminate the front part so i'm going to do this until the overall soft box has been uh, gotten rid of from the image so just do it gradually and it is going to do a really nice and decent job if at all you don't want to go through all that hassle of trying to eliminate the soft box from uh, this very image so you can see it is a slow but rather gradual process so just come and do that so you can use whichever tools you're really comfortable with to remove or clear the uh, soft box out of uh, this very image that's why for me i prefer to do it at uh, the simpler way so that even a beginner out there can really uh, go along or ride along so i think i'm just going to get rid of that right there and it's really doing a pretty nice and decent job so you can see what we had initially if at all i turn it on and off it has really done a pretty nice job so I'm just going to leave that the way it is so right now what i want to do i want to first of all remove the blemishes i'm just going to use the same tool that is the spot healing brush tool uh, to remove the blemishes from uh, this image so i'm just going to zoom in command plus to zoom in to get rid of uh, these tiny blemishes uh, from this very image before we can uh, do uh, the skin retouching rather and more color grading to this very image to have those very nice and rich skin tones that i had on the image i posted earlier on uh, instagram so you can check me out at ronix photography on instagram uh, ronix is r o w n i x and photography the usual word so let's just clean up this and just get into uh, the skin retouching and fixing the lighting issues for example getting rid of this harsh highlight right on the model's forehead so i think we are almost there and i don't want this to be a long one so i think uh, that is it so what we are going to do first of all we want to fix the lighting issues affecting this very image and still on this new layer we're just going to come and we're going to get our quick selection tool so always make sure that the caps lock key is not on or activated so i'm just going to uh, restart okay try tonight so i'm just going to make sure that the caps lock key is not activated and i'm going to come and zoom in command plus until i get to the fit of the model i'm basically going to click to make a selection on the fit so don't mind if at all it doesn't select particular areas because we can easily fix that shortly so make sure you make a rough selection maybe on the feet of the model just like that and when you feel like uh, the selection is really nice and if at all you have selected parts that you don't want to select just hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and just click uh, where you want to uh, delete a selection so i'm just trying to delete those areas that i don't want to brighten in this very image so after i feel like i've done that i'm just going to come right down here and i'm going to come to the brightness and contrast i'm just going to zoom out so that i brighten while looking at the overall image so you can see like right now i'm brightening uh the feet of the model so just like that so you can see the before and after before after so i'm going to do the same for the hands of a model too 
so that they can uh, slightly match with the fit of the model. So I'm just going to click and make a rough selection right there. So I'm using the defaults and make sure that you have uh, the add option as you're selecting. So hold down the alternate uh, to eliminate some areas and just continue making a selection. So make sure you zoom in command plus until you feel like uh, it is making a really nice and decent selection for you. So I'm just going to leave it at that and I'm also going to come back to the brightness and contrast and I'm just going to uh, brighten the hands just like that. So you can see where we are right now. So the before and the after. So now I feel like this second hand is really still dark. So I'm just going to make a rough selection just right on that arm. And I'm just going to hold down the alternate to eliminate. So I only want to brighten those parts. And I'm just going to come to the brightness once again. I'm just going to brighten even more. I'm going to do the same for the model's head and we are going to be done with this issue of balancing at the light and shadows in this very image. So I've selected the head or the face and I'm just going to brighten it up. So I want to put this in a group so that I can show you guys what we have done for the corrections. Command G. So this was the image before and after, before, after. So right now we have not yet done any skin retouching. So I'm just going to merge these two layers by hitting Shift Command E on the keyboard. And I'm going to simply come to my actions and I'm going to play my 16-bit action. So come and play it just like that. So for my full body images, I prefer to zoom out just like that. So make sure you move this radius up to a point when you're losing out on the details in the model skin so since this image has less details i'm just going to go with the radius of around four you can see i've lost out on the details just hit ok and the action is going to continue playing and for those interested in my frequency separation actions i'm going to put the link for you guys up there so that you can learn to create your own frequency separation or skin retouching actions i'm going to deactivate the black and white and select my low frequency layer come and get the mixer brush tool make sure it is a clean one wetness is 9 load 75 mix 90 and flow 100 make sure sample oilers is not checked or marked and i'm on my low frequency layer i'm just going to start blending the skin tones or even out the skin tones in this particular image so i'm going to increase on the size by using the brackets on the keyboard i'm just going to start blending or evening out on the skin tones in this particular image just like that i hope you are seeing uh, the effect and if at all you can't see the effect just turn this off so that you can see uh, how it is really affecting uh, this very portrait so let's just blend or even out the tones uh, in this very portrait so I think we are done with the model's fit. So let's just come up and even out uh, the tones. And for those really that love using frequency separation for full body images, I feel like uh, this method or this tutorial is really going to help you guys so, so much because for full body portraits, make sure you don't do so much and just do less. And that less is really going to be really uh, a game changer to your portraits or your images in general so just make sure that you do less and don't do so much so we're going to come right to the neck area and just even out the tones right on the neck area so like i said this tutorial is going to focus more on how to reduce the highlights or these blown out highlights on the model's face and here we are right now. So let's first of all turn on the black and white to see the uneven tones and just uh, even out those tones. And if at all you can't see, you can as well work without the black and white. But I prefer to use the black and white in most cases when 
I am working on those close-up portraits or close-up images. So I'm just going to even out those tones just like that. And when I come to this highlight, I'm going to be emphasizing even more. So let me just avoid it as I'm trying to even out on the skin tones on the model's face, just like that. I'm just going to avoid those highlights so that I can show you guys the best way to uh, reduce on the harsh highlights on the model's face. So I think uh, that looks nice and beautiful. So I'm just going to even out uh, the neck area. You can see the before and after, before, after. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to zoom out so that you can see how the image really looks like. So the before and after, before, after. So we are going to get rid of this highlight or the strong highlight on the model's face. So in order to eliminate this highlight, just make sure you get your brush to a reasonable size and start moving at the colors close to the highlight. Just move, start moving them gradually into the highlight. Just move them slowly and gradually into uh, that a blown out area or that area that has those strong highlights in the image so you're going to notice that this is going to reduce on uh, the intensity of uh, that blown out highlight in your images so make sure you move this as uh, really nice and slowly until or up to a point when the highlight is really starting to uh, dissolve into the image. So just get those areas close to that highlight and start uh, with the use of or with the help of your mixer brush tool. Just start moving them into that highlight gradually from side to side until they start uh, dissolving into the image and they are really less powerful. So you can see the before and after. We have just gotten rid of that but that is not all. Get your lasso tool to cover up on those highlights even more. So just make a selection on that highlight area and come back to filter, come to blind, come to Gaussian blast. So always make sure you're still on the low frequency layer. So multiply this radius by four. So for whichever radius you may have used, just multiply it by three, just put 12 and that highlight is going to be uh, reduced in the image. So just want to get rid of that highlight right there so just apply it and that highlight will uh, really disappear so you can see the before and after before after and right now this is the final step or the final thing i did to this image so i'm just going to delete the black and white and come right down here and i'm going to come to my brightness and contrast i'm just going to knock up my brightness for this very portrait and come to the contrast Rather, I'm just going to activate use legacy first and brighten it up and come the contrast and do the same. Just add a little bit of contrast and brighten it up even more. Then come to the selective color option and come under the blacks. So black and come to the blacks and I'm just going to knock it up just slightly, just like that. So this is all I did for this very image and if at all you love this story, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time, Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.